Hello everyone, welcome back to another very quick video about Assassin's Creed Origins. Now today, we actually have a tiny, tiny bit of actual fucking news. It's not just random discussion videos or, or random shit. It's actual news from Ashraf Ismail himself. So it's, it's really small, but it's regarding the loot system in Assassin's Creed Origins and how you receive weapons and armor throughout the game. And I'm just going to be reading this today. It's like a really small piece of information but it is very significant nonetheless so without further ado guys let's get straight into the video so this is actually an article from Stiviver and it's about Assassin's Creed Origins smart loot system and this interview they had with Ashraf Ismail he says the way that the loot system works is that there are some things that are given in a static way this basically means that you know once you complete a mission that mission gives you a specific reward and you 100% know that that's going to be the reward, hence the reason why it's a static reward. He then goes on to say, let's say at the end of the gladiator arena, the top tier of the gladiator arena gives you, let's say, one of the best axes in the game, a legendary version of it. It's a smart loot system, it's not purely random, but we wanted the players can go out into the open world and hunt for this equipment without saying exclusively, this one spear is here, this one axe is here. This basically means that in many other RPGs and in many other Assassin's Creed games, the various different activities can award you with varying different qualities of weapons, and say there's a very difficult high level arena, this will grant you with a legendary version of an axe that you might not have been able to get in the East easier versions of the various other arenas in the game. The quasi-random nature of the loot system means one thing to Ismail, surprise. That's the big thing we wanted, Ismail confirmed. The article then goes on to talk about questions they asked him regarding the rarity of the loot and what quality it will be, it, to which he answers, the level will always be at the very least trying to match the level you're at in relation to the enemies. If there's too much of a gap, we don't want you to break the system. Generally speaking, we try to reward the player for the effort they put in. So obviously this is a very standard thing in games, the higher the level of the mission, higher the levels there are and the more effort the player has to put in, the bigger the rewards are at the end of it. So as I said earlier, if there's a high level activity, you'll most likely end up getting a legendary weapon by the end of it, which is obviously a much better reward than say a common or just a standard rare item. In regards to not breaking the system, they obviously have levels in place, so enemies that are a higher level than you are going to be very, very difficult, and you're not really going to be able to stand a chance before you level up your gear and level up your character and skills so you can take on those higher level quests. If you somehow did manage to complete a high level mission, then I suppose according to this article, it would award you with a weapon or piece of gear scaled to your level opposed to a higher level piece of gear, I guess? I don't know. I, I don't know how that system will work, but yeah, again, it is called a smart loot system, and I guess it would always scale the weapons to your level, so if you're a certain level, you can only get a certain amount of weapons from a certain item pool, and there's different item pools depending on which level you are, I guess. Say if you're a lower level, you have an item pool for the lower levels, so when you complete that certain activity, you have a chance of getting one of those weapons, but if you're a higher level in the game, there's a higher level item pool and you have a chance of getting one of those weapons if you're a higher level and complete the same activity. I guess that's how the smart loot system works, that's just kind of me rambling on, that's my interpretation of it. I suppose we'll see how it works in the game, but in this article it's not necessarily explained awfully well, but that's what I've taken from this article anyway. So that is the end of the video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. It, again, it was just a really quick piece of information about Assassin's Creed Origins and about the loot system that will be in the game. You know, any information like this that we get I'm going to be covering because I want you guys to know everything about the game before it comes out obviously obviously not the story that's not really straight I want you to know everything about the game anyway I want you guys to be updated on all the recent news on Assassin's Creed Origins before the game comes out because that's my job you know that's what I fucking do but I hope you guys enjoyed be sure to go ahead and like and subscribe for more gaming videos in the future and also remember to comment down in the comment section below telling me what you think of this new smart gear system and what the fuck you think it is because I have no idea what it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.